Hi guys, it's Leon here and Vicky. Today we're going to do something we've not done before. As a lot of you know, me and Vicky started a band in 2002 called Spit Like This and we recorded many albums and did many awesome things and we thought it'd be a really good idea to for us as well as for some of you to talk about that and remember some of it and all that kind of thing. We recorded some albums, the last one that we did was this one, Normalityville Horror that we recorded with the producer Chris Tangaridis and it came out in 2012 if I remember correctly and what we're going to do, we're going to do 10 different episodes about this one album a song per episode and basically tell you a little bit about the song so without further ado, the first song is called Sick we have our trusty CD player which is probably the most modern piece of audio equipment that we own because, you know, we're old school in it and let's press play Okay, that epic drum intro As some of you know, Chris Sangaridis is most famous for recording Judas Priest's Painkiller album and that starts with the biggest drums in the world and I thought, Priest, we want bigger drums than that so I went up to our drummer and said, Drummer, do your fucking job It took him a little while but eventually he did do his fucking job Now, the rest of the drums, the that came about because we went to, was it Hard Rock Hell 2? We played at Hard Rock Hell 2 yeah, yeah, we played at Hard Rock, not went, not fucking punters we played at Hard Rock Hell 2 and uh, Wasp were playing and they actually they played before us, I think. I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, we watched Wasp and I really noticed that a lot of their songs had drums that went dugga 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 through them and it really impacted live and I thought we've got no songs that go dugga 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 through them so I, thought, I need to write a song that goes dugga 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 So what did we do? Write a song that went Oh, you're not going to do it. Dugga, 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 dugga. So that's why it goes dugga, 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 dugga throughout the whole song. Lyrically, it deals with a lot of the shit that we as a band dealt with the previous few years, if you'd like to elaborate on that, Miss Vicky. Labels, managers, producers, uh, venues, promoters, sound engineers, people who are supposed to repair instruments, and just general people. Have we never had any problems with producers, to be fair? No, that's not. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So scrap that. Go <laughs> delete that bit. Look who is when when she says producers go like that. Go la 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 la. So sick. We're sick of all the liars. Sick of all the thieves. Sick of all the people that what a piece of me. I remember some fucking lyrics. Wow. That's probably the first time I've made any kind of singing noise since 2014 or something. So what else can we tell you about this song? We can tell you about how we recorded this song. We actually, uh, I seem to remember that in the studio, we, we did like the, the, we laid down the, the track, um, guitar, vocals and bass and drums, and we did it all in one go. Yeah, we did the drums and bass live. We didn't actually know we were going to be recording it. Yes. Uh, CT, sorry, you're so sneaky. It's so, like, just run through the song, Vicky and, and Giles, just run through the song. And we did, and he's like, oh, that's a tape. <laughs> We were shitting ourselves afterwards. We were like, we didn't know that was a tape. It was a really good tape, so that was a yeah, tape. It worked. So then it was just guitars and, and my vocals and, and the kind of sprinkly icing that you put on top. I like the notes in this bit. Yeah. Lyrically, I was actually trying to be a bit more metaphorical in this song than I've ever been before. And it kind of works, I think. The first time we played this live, I really remember it was at the Chaos Festival in, in Guernsey. Do you remember that? Yes. And I was really excited because I knew that this would be such a kick-ass song to play live. And it fucking was. Yeah, it's one of my favourites to play live. Yeah. And you liked the, the big bass brown notes, didn't you? Yeah, I had a really awesome pedal, a, a dip. MXR chorus pedal for guitar, but on the bass it was fucking epic. It was basically like... Is it this bit that comes up here? Yeah, and the guitarist used to get really fucking miffed because it would completely flatten him. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it was. It was really 
It was it was big. It was just massive. Made, it was just the biggest bass sound vibrate. in the world. Yeah, yeah. It was like, have you got your brown pants on, everyone? Yeah. Um, and I guess the final thing is the video, which is probably playing in one of these two corners or something like that. Um, we recorded it on a fucking hot day and the first edit of it didn't work. But I had a copy of it, so one day after I got all the stuff to do this shit, I re-edited it and added some fancy shit and stuff it online. And that's it ladies and gentlemen! We are literally going to do that. We're going to talk to you about the song for the length of the song and then we're going to fuck off. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Tell them to give it a thumbs up. Thank give you very thumbs much. Up, or else. And we have a new catchphrase now. Yeah. Instead of being all grovelly and saying, oh, please subscribe to our channel, we just go, subscribe, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah. So do that too. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Some of that. Some of that. Just me. <laughs>